and I'm going to show you how to uh, layer when you have different colors. The first thing that I do is that I select all the things that I want in one color uh, by going over here and shift and select to get, I don't know if I can do this with one hand, shift and select those things and then you could attach them or you could weld them. I've already done it in this case. I've already done the ones that I've wanted. And then I go to make it. And then you will see, because I attached it, they're all together in the proper order. So it's less figuring out how to layer those after. Um, and then if we go to the next one, so it's gonna be a lot easier when you go to cut them. So then I'm, I cut it, which I've already done. Um, and then if we come over here, I've weeded each one out. And then what I do is I take the baby onesie or t-shirt or whatever you're doing and I fold it in half and this gives you an easier placement as well uh, for where you're going to place it. And then I take um, the first one. I'm just going to make sure these all line up here. So then, okay. Start. Okay, so this is basically what it should look like after. So I'm going to take my very first one. Sorry, guys. Try to hold on to this and do it. And I'm going to fold my SVG in half. And by folding in half, you're able to know exactly where the middle is for it. All right, so now I have this folded in half and don't worry about that crease, it's gonna press out. So then I'm gonna line it up with half there. I'm gonna take my measuring tape and, sorry, and I'm going to measure. So I like it about an inch from there. So I'm gonna bump it up just a little bit. Okay, let's see here. All right, so that's pretty good for me. So now I'm going to make sure this is right on that halfway mark of the onesie. Usually I'm doing this with two hands. All right, sorry for the mess on the table. Um, now that I have it laid out, I'm going to Flatten the other half. Just want to make sure there's no crease in that. All right, so I'm going to flatten that out. All right, so now I have this perfectly in the middle of where I want it, and I'm going to bring it over to my heat press. Just making sure it's again, looks good. All right. So I always keep parchment paper on my heat press. I actually see a little thing I don't like in here. So I'm just going to take that out. Sorry guys, I don't know how to make this video any better. Um, just going to take that paper out. Good. I'm going to bring this over. I'm gonna bring this over on my on my heat press and I'm gonna make sure it's still flat down there in the center like that. I now put another piece of parchment paper always on top. Like that. My temperature is set at 305 and I'm gonna press it. And I'm not gonna use the, the timer, I'm just gonna count. So I usually count to five, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna lift it up, take this off, take this off, bring it over here. Okay, and I'm gonna peel. This is a hot peel, so I could peel it right away. 
All right, and now I'm going to do the next layer. I'm going to fold it in half again. So I'm taking this. Okay. And I'm going to fold my onesie once again in half. I guess I need a camera stand to, to show this, but I'm just going to wing it. All right, so. Now that I have it in half again, here we go. I'm going to take my next layer and I'm going to put it in the middle again. And if I look on my computer, I know that these dots are pretty much also, they were pretty much in between uh, the 0702 and the name pretty much lined up here as well. So this is a little bit crooked. So now I'm going to flip it open. And if you're if you're doing something where um, you have a bunch of layers, you have to uh, you could either do registration marks, which some videos show. I like to just eyeball it. And here goes. I, I actually lost a U here. So let's see if I can try to fix that. Okay, so make sure you get it how you want it to line up. Um, I'm just going to make sure it's straight again by putting this down. Okay, so now I like what I see and like the placement of it. So I'm gonna bring it over to my heat press. All right, so it's back on the heat press. I'm gonna put my same piece of parchment paper. Still temperature is at 305. I'm going to press down, I'm going to count to five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to take that off. Okay, I'm going to bring it over here. Again, I'm going to peel this off hot. Okay, and then we have the last layer. I'm going to once again fold this in half. If I do t-shirts, I do this the same way. I fold the t-shirt in half. Um, I'm now going to take the very last layer and I'm going to fold it in half. All right. And I'm now going to place it into the spot where I think it should be placed. Sometimes you have to eyeball it a bit. All right, now I'm gonna open up my onesie again. And let's straighten 
straighten it out. I'm going to put it down for one second. Make sure this is all straight because this is for an order, so I don't want to screw it up. close. Now, I, I don't think anything handmade could ever be perfect, perfect. Um, that's the joy of having it handmade. There's Sometimes it's just a little bit off, um, but I'm liking what I see, so I'm going to move it back to the press. All right, and because this is my last layer, we're going to do it longer than five seconds. I usually let it go for about 20 seconds. I'm using a scissor easy weight for all of the vinyl as well. So I'm going to count. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, I'm going to take it off. Sometimes I use this just to take off if there's any fluffs or anything. And there we go. That's how I do layering. And if it's on a cup or anything else, I just, I cut it, I put the first layer down, and then I keep folding in half to try to get the measurement pretty much exact.